I wonder if these politicians actually believe what they say, you know, the um, Miss Pelosi was just uh, explaining herself in a press conference that uh, um, she made sure, her and her colleagues made sure that the uh, Obamacare was pre-constitutional. I mean, yeah, that's, you know, I guess when it comes to uh, the prostitute horror media, she can count on them to back her up when she says stupid things like that. No one's going to question her on, on stupidity, things like that. But, you know, uh, way back, she stood up and uh, she said that, um, let me see what she said. So she says, we wrote our bill in a way that was constitutional. That's that's what she said, uh, I guess, yesterday or today. But if you look a couple of years back, she says, we have to pass the bill so you can find out what's in it. Now, maybe she was uh, saying that to the rest of us. She probably already knew what was in it. But not 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 exactly because uh, that statement just pretty much says that she absolutely hadn't any idea um, about writing the bill. I mean, come on. Th this woman makes millions of dollars a year. Why, in God, why would she bother, you know, sitting down and, and, and writing a bill? She doesn't write the bills. These people don't write bills. They have their clerks and they have the, the lobbyists that uh, lobby for her hey you know you do this for us we'll give you campaign contributions you know some money here on the side there you go um, and you uh, help us out you know we we need to uh, continue the scam and we need to ruin people's lives we need to destroy businesses but don't worry we're gonna have you totally and completely set up you don't have to worry about a doggone thing ever and ever again uh, you have to understand that because we don't have uh, participate uh, in the scam you know we don't have the time to go over there and uh, we don't have the pocket or the size or the money to um, uh, influence um, this uh, um, traders and um, in Congress you know they, uh, they they we have a disadvantage. Avast and virus database has been updated. Well, thank you, Avast, for getting involved. As a result, you know we don't have much of a say, and therefore, you know they they they, they dress pretty and uh, they um, they put makeup on, and they 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 show a face that um, they're going to take care of us, even though we're not asking for you to take care of any of us, but. Because the plan for, I don't know, 60 years or so, it made it possible uh, to uh, influence our minds and control our thoughts and uh, lead us in a way uh, to, you know, accept you guys taking care of us, which you're not really taking care of us. You're ruining our lives and destroying our properties and uh, murdering our kids and uh, destroying uh, um, our monetary system, our financial system our property, our homes, our families. I mean, you truly are the essence of Satanism and evil. And but that's that's what we what that's what we have. We don't we don't we don't have a representative government. They don't represent you. They don't represent you. They don't care about you. You don't have any money. You don't have the means to influence uh, uh, them to ensure that they uh, uh, they they follow a God lawful system they prefer the satanic system you know they they don't care they don't care you know because there hasn't been any consequences and because there hasn't been any consequences they're, they're gonna get away with it they're gonna get away with it I mean Corsine he, he knew but then he pleaded the fifth and you know he got millions of dollars he ripped off a, a, a lot of people on MF Global I mean, how can you, you can't participate in the system. It's completely rigged. And our, and our so-called representatives rigged the system. Th then we ha they have the audacity to have a, a, a hearing just to ensure the American people that we're gonna do something about this, that Mr. Corson's going to pay for stealing billions of dollars. Come on, people, wake up. The guy was on the inside. He was the senator for crying out loud. He was a governor. Now, he's a member of Goldman Sachs. 
the bankers run, run, run the world, you know, help run the world with the blessings of the, the whore queen. She's the one who created, the, uh, she's part of the creation of this admirable system throughout the world. You know, she worships Satan, she wants to see mass sacrifices, she needs all this uh, useful idiots in the Congress uh, to ensure that uh, the, the status quo continues. Nothing's going to change because they don't care. They're, 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 there's two systems. You got the Admiral system, you got the common law system. One is dormant and one is way alive. And this one, this way alive, it's, it's like a, it runs like a mafia. It's a blood sucking, money grubbing, murdering system. And they deceive us, but now oh, we got constitution. No, we don't. We have we have the the constitution on the dormant side, the the jure system, not the not the de facto system. And, and and if you and if you want remedy, I mean, you got to know this. You got you got to know from top to bottom what you need to do. You need to have strength in number. Doing it by yourself, you're gonna lose. They're gonna beat you up. They're gonna humiliate you. They're gonna throw your ass in a cage because they don't care. The whole system is 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 a predatory system. They're going to hurt you because of people like uh, Pelosi. Because she doesn't care. I mean, Rubio, I mean, Rubio, I thought Rubio was the Constitution. No, obviously not because he's endorsing Romney. He's just a phony. All of those guys are phonies. All of those guys are phonies. All you got to do is just uh, forget forget about the system. Forget it. It's, it's useless. It's meaningless. It's, you know, you got the control resistance like Alex Jones and uh, Gerald Salente and all those people, Rule Rockwell, and uh, and it's just uh, it's going nowhere. You gotta you gotta learn how to uh, depend on yourself. Period. Just you. you. Gotta learn how to live. How to be the independent. You're sovereign. You're born sovereign. You have to take care of your of yourself, your friends, your family. You have to grow your own food. Learn how to grow your own food. You can't, you can't, this system is going down in a, ha in a hand basket. I think uh, that, that yeah, yeah, who is coming in, in the next uh, 10 years at least, at, uh, at most, I think it's about 20 years until this is all over. But I, I hope I am wrong in those estimates. I hope it's at the most 10 years, at least 5 years. But it's, it's just getting so bad. It's just getting so worse. You know, if 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 the Supremes strike down the whole Obamacare, who cares? It doesn't. You know, I mean, we need to familiarize us, ourselves with the bill. I mean, but their only authority only lies in Washington D.C. You just gotta learn how to how to deal deal with these people. They, they use words against you, and and they know and they know how to manipulate, and they know how to dog on uh, get you to comply and be and consent all your or your sovereign God-given rights. Don't let them. Oh, they're they're a bunch of clowns, a bunch of j it's a joke. You gotta find like-minded people. You gotta uh, commute with those uh, like-minded people, and just live a simple and meaningful life the best you possibly can, without uh, you know, cussing at our rules or whatnot. But it's just it's just funny how how this this broad says we wrote our bill in a way that was constitutional. And then we had to pass the bill so you can find out what's in it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's just. But at least uh, in Drudge, in the uh, the Drudge report, reporter, so they, you know, uh, it's not like uh, she can totally get away with it. Uh, it's going to be brought up to her anyway. So, but it's just, it's, it's it's a it's a it's a control system. It's a weak satanic system. It's, it's bloody and it's uh, rough. But just just be aware of these things. But. Uh, just to let you know the insanity and the stupidity that the walls around in Washington, D.C. It's just crazy.